China has opened up. There's no more COVID restrictions. Oh, look at those uh, ginkgo trees. Look at these ginkgo leaves. Oh, ginkgo. <laughs> anyway, I got distracted. What was I saying? China has opened up. There's no more COVID restrictions. There's, uh, it's not mandatory to wear a mask anymore, to go into shopping malls when you're walking outside or certain establishments, you don't need to wear a mask. Oh, but there's a woman there, she's wearing a mask. But you may notice as we walk down the streets, more people are now wearing a mask than they were before the restrictions were lifted. So let's find out what's going on. It is no longer required to take a test before you go on a flight domestically in China because before you had to take a test within 24 hours of going on a flight and then they changed it to 48 hours and now they've dropped it completely. Um, and I think it's the same for trains as well. So that's pretty good um, because I'm almost taking lots of flights and it's kind of inconvenient to have to go and take a test before you get on the flight. Uh, so they've dropped that. That is one of the things that has been dropped. Uh, and as I said, wearing a mask, you may, you may notice that I'm not wearing a mask. Um, but if we can find some people around, it's quite difficult to find some people actually. <laughs> oh, there's some people across there. Those two fellows are wearing a mask. Um, so I'm not wearing a mask because, you know, the government no longer says you, need, you, don't, need, you don't need to wear a mask. So, you know, so I'm not wearing a mask. This guy is also uh, not wearing any mask. And uh, can we find, oh, there's two fellows over there. They're both wearing a mask. Okay, this video is just gonna be me pointing around and seeing who's wearing a mask or not. As you can see, there is not that many people around. There's a lady there, she's wearing a mask. Whoa, that guy's wearing a double, double strapper. He's wearing a double strapper mask. Now, why is that? Well, because the restrictions have been lifted and so, you know, COVID's going around uh, and a lot of people, they just, they don't want to catch COVID basically. They don't want to get, they don't want to get it. Although now it is quite mild and you know, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's basically, it's just like flu now. Um, but you know, s most people, um, they still don't want to get it uh, and they're wearing masks. I am in a small city in Guizhou province, one of the poorest provinces in all of China. So this is not your typical kind of uh, city. And uh, oh, these two people here wearing a mask. Um, and actually I found that walking around like this without a mask, people actually kind of run away from me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but there's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, it's just like the flu. Don't worry about it. I mean, I've, I've, since they lifted the restric restrictions, I've been walking around without a mask, going in malls, going everywhere. And uh, I, I still didn't, I still didn't get anything. I don't think so anyway. I mean, I haven't gone for a test, so I don't know if I did have it, um, but I didn't feel anything. <laughs> so a lot of other cities um, have been experiencing um, empty streets like this and businesses have kind of, uh, not had the rush of customers coming back that they expected uh, when the restrictions were lifted because people are, people are still afraid uh, of the virus. Um, they don't want to catch it. Um, but I think actually it's slowly coming back to normal when people realize it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, it's just like the flu. Now, obviously, if you have underlying health conditions, then yeah, you, you, you should be... Uh, wearing a mask and uh, taking all the uh, necessary precautions. But if you're a young, healthy person, like Han Bao Wang, <laughs> there's nothing to be afraid of. Don't worry about it. Just another flu, another cold, another little sniffle, a bit of a, bit of a fever, maybe you get a cough, maybe you have no symptoms at all. But something has been happening in China. People, who are not sick have been going to pharmacies and buying buying out buying everything there buying all the pills all the medications thermometers and stockpiling um, medicines basically which if you are doing that 
That is despicable. If you don't need it, you should not be stockpiling it. And I mean, if you get a flu anyway, you don't need you don't need anything. Just have some orange juice, vitamin C. Have a have a brisk walk. <laughs> Drink some hot water. Warm water cures everything. So don't be stockpiling pills from pharmacies. They're, they're sold out. They've literally, everything's sold out in pharmacy. You can't even get like ibuprofen sold out. You can't even get a thermometer sold out. <laughs> right, so don't be doing that. Especially if you're like a young 30 year old. Why are you stockpiling medicine? Forget about it. You're healthy. And it's kind of strange, you know, because if you tune into Western media and you don't really, you, you haven't heard anything about it. You haven't, heard, there's no story saying China opens up, China ends like the, the restrictions, China, China relaxes restrictions or whatever. You don't see, you don't see anything. Do you know why? Because it's, it's too positive for them to, to put it in the headlines. It's too, it's too much of a positive story about China opening up, China returning to normal. I saw a store, I think I saw one like four days ago from my, <laughs> from my good old friend, the BBC, also known as BSB News. They were running some kind of story along the lines that, oh, China's strategy failed and now they're copying the West just like us and opening up. Ugh. But actually, it didn't fail in the way that the West failed. China's zero COVID policy. It worked, it did its job that it intended to do. It saved millions of people's lives. Look at China's death toll compared to the rest of the world. The facts don't lie. The facts don't lie, my friends. Look at America's death toll from COVID. What were their strategy? One million people, more than one million, died from COVID in America. What was their, what was their strategy? What were they playing at? So, you know, China's strategy has done its job. It lasted out the storm, you know, for the last two, three years. Now that this variant is much milder and it's just like the flu. And so now you can open back up again. It did its job, it worked, it succeeded. But you know, Western media, they're gonna try and twist it and say, oh, it failed, it failed, when in actuality, it's them that failed. Can you imagine? If it was the other way around and China had a million deaths from COVID, can you just imagine what Western media is going to be saying? Oh my God, the human rights in China, oh, a million people have died. But guess what? It's not that way around and it's a million deaths in America. But you never even, you never even see it anywhere. It's just, just as if, oh, let's just, um, uh, a million deaths, uh, just, sw or just sweep that under the carpet, a million deaths. Right, let's open up, economy, yeah, money, we need money, money. Sweet, a uh, million deaths, million deaths, or just sweep that million deaths under the carpet. Oh, oh, what's that? More deaths than any war that America's ever been in combined. Oh, a million, just sweep that under the carpet. Open up, we need money. <laughs> it's 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 a tragedy a million people have lost their lives and they're just sweeping it under the carpet it's crazy what happened to their human rights western media those million people that died in america more than a million where's their human rights why don't hey 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 my favorite news station bbc also known as bsb news why you don't put that in your headlines a million people in America. Where's their human rights? You know, you're not gonna see it. But if it happened in China, it'd be, it'd be top news. Every single news station. But it didn't happen in China. China's strategy has worked. They played the long game. Just like the, uh, the rabbit, uh, the hare and the uh, tor tortoise. The turtle and the hare. The rabbit and the turtle, whatever you wanna call it. Slow and steady wins the race. China played the slow game for the last three years. Well, all the other Western countries were like, oh no, we can't wait. We want to open up, open up the economy, open the doors. And then people dying left, right, and center. A million people died. China paid, played the long game. Stick stuck with it for three years. And now it's, the, the virus is much milder. Just gives you a bit of sniffles. And uh, it's worked, it's worked. We're open, China's opened back up. Ah, and this, uh, 
this woman is trying to join the vlog. Huh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, there's, there's, a, there's a bit more people uh, around now. Um, it's around 1 p.m. I think they're coming out on their lunch break. It is, uh, what day is it? I don't even know what day it is. It's a Tuesday. Ah, no one day, it's a Tuesday. Everyone's just coming out from their offices. I see it as a good thing, you know, China opening up, returning to normal. So this calls for a celebration, as I am indeed the Burger King. It's time to return to my headquarters. <laughs> oh, usually there'd be a little desk here and they check, check your uh, health code, scan in, they tell you you have to wear a mask and this and that. Oh, she's just got a lovely package of, uh, of the old good stuff, Burger King. Uh, but now everything's gone, the restrictions, no more mask wearing. Let's order a burger. Oh, we've got a new burger. Bacon and spinach Whopper. Just waiting for my order now. And um, actually, Burger King. I'm the Burger King. You stole my name. I should sue you. You can see uh, it's also quite empty in Burger King. Uh, but actually, oh, there's someone left their food there. And there's some remnants of another person was over there as well but actually um i know i said this before but actually it's usually like this in the city it's not it's not like busy all the time especially on a tuesday um this is not a big city it's a fifth tier city in guizhou province one of the poorest provinces in all of china hmm. i'm just waiting on this order burger king you better hurry up when did i order this let's 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 shame Burger King. How slow are they? I, only, I ordered one burger, that new burger that I saw, the spinach one, right? I ordered it at 1.31. Let's check what time it is. I ordered it at 1.31 and it is 1.37. <laughs> yes, that is six minutes. Six minutes? All right, so it's not that long, but six minutes, this is fast food. Six minutes is not fast. Sort yourselves out. I'm timing you. I'm gonna shame Burger King in this video. Right, just got the food. What's the time? Total length. It is 1.39. I ordered at 1.31. That is a total of eight minutes. I mean, you can see that literally I was the only customer in there. Why is it taking you eight minutes to give me one single burger? Burger King. I will never step foot in your doors again. <laughs> That's a lie. I'll probably be back tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely day in China. Things are changing very quickly in China. You know, by the times I've uploaded this video, maybe it's, they've changed. Maybe it's opened up even more. Um, and I might have missed some of the uh, changes too. So if you know any, tell me in the comments below. Oh, there's a little kiddo there playing football with his father. They are both wearing masks. The kid's wearing a mask as well. Hey, you might be wondering, where's Lincoln? Well, actually, we came out with Lincoln and I started to film and he started crying and he whinging, he wouldn't stop crying and he was just causing, he was just causing trouble all the time. I couldn't film and so he had to, he had to, he had to go back. It was because he was due for his midday nap, uh, so he's now sleeping. If you wonder where Lincoln is, uh, by the way. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll give you a little clip of Lincoln for the people who want to see Lincoln before he started crying. Here it is. Ah! Adieu. 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 <laughs> right, I've got my burger and chips and I'm eating it on the streets. I look like some kind of homeless American from LA. Oh, it's got a rabbit. It's got a rabbit on the box for some reason. All right, let's try Burger King's new burger. Oh, it's quite big. That is pretty nice, actually. All right, let's eat like a homeless, homeless guy on the street. Oh, this is looking good. Although the meat's only one patty, I tried to add more, but they, they didn't add the customize. It wasn't customizable. Anyway, let's shut up and shove it in. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know why my boyfriend this high. It's pretty good. Hmm. All right, Burger King. You might have redeemed yourself for that slow service because the burger's pretty good. Mm. 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 Anyway, that is the end of this video. China is open. China is open for business. China's back, baby. She's back. Mm. That is the end of this video. And I will see you in the next one. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs>